Hello everyone, thanks so much for tuning in to our channel once again. So today's video request is how to use gold color in Canva. So let's get right on to it. Okay, if you want to use gold as your background color, then you can actually use a gradient by going to the color button right over here and select a color that's close to gold, say for example this one. Now we're going to go back up and click on this plus button and here we'll be able to change the colors of our gradient so we can manually change it to look like the gold color. Or you can also go to the element section, type in gold, go to photos and select pictures of gold that you can use as background. Okay, but if you want to turn your elements into gold, then it would be easy if you're using frames. Let's take a look at some frames. So yeah, for example, this one. In order to turn this into gold, it's quite simple. You're just going to have to look for gold once again and go to photos. And basically just insert a picture of gold over here to turn your frame into gold. And that's it. But what if you want to turn a specific element into gold? Can we do that? Let's give it a try. Let's go to the element section once again. And let's try to type in here... Um, a much more complicated shape than the basic shapes. So what about blobs? And let's go to graphics. Let's choose something here that we cannot really find under the uh, basic shapes category. Say for example this one. What if you want to turn this into gold? Or something much more complicated than that? For example, pause. I delete that instead and use this one. So what if you want to change this into gold? Can you do that? Well, let's try to go to the um, color button here. And unfortunately, we cannot find the option to turn it into gold, just a solid color. But there is something that we can do about it. So we're going to turn this into the color black. But by the way, this method is actually unfortunately only available for those with a canva pro subscription and you'll find out why as we download it so we're going to go to the share button go to download and we're going to select svg as our file type and this is the reason why it's only available for those with canva pro subscription or for pro users because you can see this crown watermark over here and you're going to make sure that you're going to tick the uh, transparent background for this. So we're going to download it. And then we're going to save it to the um, location where we want to save it. And we're going to open PowerPoint in our PC. Blank presentation. And then we're going to, oh, we're going to close this one. We're going to delete these text boxes. And we're going to go to insert. We're going to click on pictures. And now we're going to navigate to the location of our, of our, what do you call that? SVG file. And we're going to click on insert. And here it is. Now we're going to go to convert shape and click on it. This prompt will appear. Just say yes. Or just click on yes, I mean. And then we're going to go to shape fill. So please choose picture. And select from a file. 
choose any pictures you want to temporarily place on your custom frame and click on insert. And there it is. Now we're going to download, I mean, we're going to save it, but please take note, we're going to save it as a PDF file. So we're going to click on file and then we're going to click on save as. We're going to um, select the location where we want to save it and name it however we want to name it. So golden pause, for example. All right, it's, oh, I think I forgot to save it as PDF. So let's try again. Desktop, PDF, save it as a PDF file and click on save. All right, now we're going to go back to Canva. We're going to go to our home page and click on projects. And then we're going to click on add new. Upload. And select the um, PDF file version of our custom frame. Basically, we're just going to wait for it to load up. And here it is. So we're going to click it to open it. And let's try it out. Let's see if we can finally change it to gold. Let's go to the element section and look for gold. And let's go to photos. And let's try it out. And there, finally, we were able to turn it into gold. All right. Well, I'm going to be making a golden design right now. So if you want to uh, watch to see how it would turn out and to see my process, then feel free to do so. But if not, then I hope the things we shared with you today would be of help somehow. So thank you so much for watching.